One of the biggest Nike dunks that is not an SB is finally making its return this month, as well as some Easter colorways coming in from Nike on the Air Max 1 that I actually like a lot. And also another Jordan, Craft Ivory, but this isn't one that's coming in the Jordan 3 model, it's coming in the Jordan 1 model. This week's got them early. All right, guys, to pop things off, we got a, a shoe in here that I mistakenly did not even mean to grab to show you guys and girls, but this is a women's Adidas Gazelle. This is the Gazelle Bold, and this is a women's actual Gazelle. The Gazelles and the Sambas definitely have been kind of making it their comeback. Some people will say they never even left, but they've been making their rounds at least in the sneaker world and just from the everyday world like an everyday shoe at an everyday price the sambas and the gazelles have been popping up a lot lately on the feats of you know athletes musicians streetwear people in general and hey i'm all here for it at the end of the day but this women one is something that we've seen being pushed around with puma as well as with nike i have not seen much of it though with adidas and that is like the platform high style the high soul type of thick chunky sole here on this outsole and what is literally looking like is three gazelle soles stacked on top of each other this is also featured in a suede upper and you got leather or maybe it's more like a nylon on the uh three stripes here the tongue and the colors on here that is being featured is ivory slash ftw white slash bo gold so bold gold i want to say i don't know what the ftw white is but we also have the gum bottom on there as well it's funny that we have this ivory colorway because we actually have another ivory coming in a little bit later on in the video but these are nice you also have this like towel material being utilized here giving that spring vibe that beach you know the the pool vibes it's like a little fleece towel material on the back here it is no logo so keep that in mind and you also had that fleece towel on the inner insole of the shoe something nice for the ladies and these are actually available now retail is hundred and twenty dollars and these are the adidas gazelle bold shoe that's what this being called next up i saved this one for a little bit later but i actually like these a lot that's why i grabbed them i could have just let them move but i actually did like them a lot and this is the air max one easter salute to my homie devin man salute to devin in the building because he made a really good point the funny thing is i don't think that he when he made his point he knew about this until now he had told me when he first saw these that they gave him hair vibe like Jordan 7, you know, hair vibes, Bugs Bunny vibes at the end of the day. Come to find out these are Easter sneakers, Easter bunny, you feel me? And now it makes sense when it comes to the actual colors on the shoe. The shoe is Air Max 1 light soft pink slash vapor green, rose doe clair, a lot of other random stuff on here but bam check it out you got the mesh you got cracked leather as well as suede going around the toe box and you got some rope laces with an additional set of flat laces in that pink i just really like this colorway this is definitely a shoe that i could get jiggy with and end up picking up if it goes on sale i don't know if i would jump out and just get it at retail the release date on these are march 29th at a retail price point of 160 dollars so yeah that 150 160 for air max ones for me is a little too much like i would go to the 140s 120 140 to get this but at the same time this could actually do fairly well as a shoe it's nice overall has some nice materials nice colors and air max ones they they definitely are still they're banging there's just so many of them they're almost like air force ones now where air force ones have been on some major sales at the end of the day you have some like speckled out different colors of black this yellow green it almost looks as if this is recycled material however there is no statement on the box about it being you know from zero to gold we do know that nike has been trying to do more recycling on their product but it just looks like it is recycled material but i, I i'm going to say it's more so on the design factor like i don't think they're actually trying to do that there because normally it would have that tag on the shoe but who knows at the end of the day comes in a regular nike box all red nike air max easter march 29th 160 dollars if you want to see a review on that let me know it's nice it's just something that's going to come and go in all honesty now in all honesty I like these, but this is probably the big banger in the video, in my opinion, and that is the Nike Dunk Low Plum. Originally released back in 2002 as a Nike Japan exclusive, then later on released to the general public 
in 2020. I would say that the Nike Dunk Low Plum has been probably one of the bigger, I would say, just regular Nike Dunk releases. When the Dunks are popping off, like popping, popping, a lot of them were selling out. A lot of the colors from the Brazils, Reverse Brazils, Championship Gold, all those colorways were, you know, popping. But the Plum, like, it has the characteristics of that, you know, SB overall look, material, and all that. I'm not gonna lie, all it's missing is some rope laces and, and a little bit of that plump tongue and uh, everything else will be out, out the door. But this is definitely a shoe that I think I might end up picking up as Dunks. You know, I've been collecting a lot of them and now Dunks are even going on sale. If you want to know, I, there's a lot of dunks that are just sitting on sites now. That's great because at one point they were unable to be obtained, and it was weird because at one like dunks have always been kind of that nature. Then the you know they popped off, highs started kind of to dwindle and be sitting and be able to get them on sale. And now the lows, you can pretty much grab lows on sites. Maybe not the code you want, but they're there. 115, the retail price point, March 21st is the actual release date for these. I expect these to fly off shelves and be shoes that people are going to resell at the end of the day just because of the nature behind the shoe. It came out in 2020, did fairly well, and it is, like I said, a Nike Japan exclusive from 2002. So be expecting these to do uh, numbers at the end of the day. The purple, that red, I'm loving it. Nike Dunk Low SP Daybreak slash Barn Plum. This is definitely gonna be one that's added into the collection. We will get out a full in-depth review. I think I'm gonna hold on to this one. I don't have that much purple, and the only other purple shoe really that, I, mean, I got a couple purple shoes, I think about it now. I got these, I haven't worn these yet, but now I can wear my plums and feel good about it you know what I mean like even with this hat like I mean this the colors a little bit off but I'm for it I'm all for it so these are coming March 21st be on the lookout and last but not least we have a Jordan one that is uh another craft another craft and this is the craft ivory we've seen craft ivory from the Jordan 3 this is the craft ivory Jordan 1 craft ivory the Jordan 1 craft high in this ivory colorway it comes in uh I wonder did the threes I want to say the threes came in or well we had craft ones the vibrations of Nigel and I believe that came in this box. This box looks very familiar at the end of the day, like it's been reused. I want to say it's from that other craft that we had. The craft shoes from Jordan Brand is shoes that seem to be made or handmade. That's how the whole craft series is at the end of the day. Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Craft is on the box. Sea glass slash pale ivory is the actual colorways. You have a canvas on the back or a hemp, whatever you want to call it. it I would say it seems more hemp than uh, canvas, I would say. You got the sea glass, which is a very, very rough. It's not your typical... Uh, suede but it feels like very dry we felt this before I just don't know on which shoe recently or at least from looking like I don't think it's anything that I possess but matter of fact this feels a lot like what was utilized on the reimagined royal that's what it made me feel like when I rubbed it it's very rough and dry at the end of the day you had the exposed tongue foam on there set of laces no additional set of laces okay I thought we would have an additional set of laces but I guess not so currently in the secondary market right now these are sitting at retail and slightly below so be be expecting these shoes to be dead on arrival meaning that you can get them at retail with no issue whatsoever and possibly get them on sale if you wait a little bit longer retail they'll be 180 and the release date is march 30th so this will be the uh last shoe one of the last shoes that be releasing out of the month of march it's a really silent release in all honesty like i've been doing reviews on every shoe out there so that i get my catalog up up and up more and more right if i was to be focused in only on shoes that i know are going to hit and do great numbers as far as you count this will be a shoe that i would just pass up on and all honesty i might review this and get single digits at the most 10,000. I, I just don't see this being a shoe that people are going to care about but that doesn't take away from the fact that i want to review it at the end of the day so i'm going to do my service to you guys and girls and give you guys that at the end of the day hot take here the shape on that toe box looks like kind of different i don't know if it's the material it just looks flatter probably my brain playing games on me i'm not going to make no statements on there changing the shape but it does look different we will do a full on review on this though these are releasing at the end of the month and it is another jordan one once again so many jordan ones coming in left and right at the end of the day but the jordan one craft ivory march 30th we will do a full-on review so stay tuned for that no extra set of laces and uh we will do the plum we'll do this and if you want to see some more on this side let us know i love y'all i appreciate y'all as always and i'm gonna see you on the next one i'm out peace